So we're here for a three-minute interview with Lufthansa Cargo CEO Carsten Spohr. Well, we've just heard about your financial results for 2008 and obviously the partial outlook for 2009 as well. Can you give me a bit of a feel, if it's possible at all, about whether you think we're at the bottom already, how long you think that this might continue for, even if it's only your personal feeling? Um, if you had asked me half a year ago if there would ever be something like minus 25% of global cargo volume, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have believed it. So, uh, should I think it can go further? Mm -hmm. I would say yes. Right. Should I? Could I have thought it ever goes down that much? No. So mm -hmm. um, we really, I think all of us in this industry have never seen anything like this before. So it's so difficult to take any other experience to judge it, to answer a question like yours. Uh, my overall positive attitude would tell me that I think the abrupt uh, stall of the global economy we have seen in the last month mm -hmm. had extraordinary effects on the global cargo industry and therefore I would think that hopefully we have seen the, the lowest point. The more difficult question is how long will we be on this level? Mm -hmm. and that's the one I would prepare to answer. And you mentioned that one of the things that you think is an issue as part of this is the imbalance of production and um, sort of a bit of a swell of capacity on the market of various goods, etc. And you think that that's key to, to moving things around? That could be a potential explanation why we have seen such an extraordinary stall in air cargo volumes versus the remaining global economy. I mean, we are down 25% as IATA had reported. We don't see numbers that the global economy is necessarily down by 25%, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I believe there could well be some uh, ex extraordinary aspe aspects of this uh, rapid change which had affected our industry. And it's maybe a little bit closer of thinking as well mm -hmm. that that could result in a little more stabilized environment over the next months. But mm -hmm. uh, again, there's no real fact to drive that on. And how about actually are things? I mean, in comparison to any kind of past time, how far down are we right now? Well, again, uh, I mean, it's a nice anecdote that when we in Lufthansa Cargo did scenario and crisis planning the last years, we would have different scenarios of downturns. And we would always stop at minus 15 mm -hmm. because after 9-11 we had seen minus 10. So we said it will never get bad, mm -hmm. this bad again. And if it does, let's put another 5% down. Yep. Nobody was seriously thinking about minus 25. Mm -hmm. So yes, the ATA numbers are showing double the downturn in the last months as we had seen them after 9-11. So maybe that gives a feel of where we are. Yeah, and um, sort of moving on to more positive things, looking at Lufthansa's acquisitions at the moment, with uh, them looking at BMI, Austrian, and Brussels Airlines. What kind of role do you think it will play in the cooperation between potentially you and those other carriers? How will that affect the cargo business? Yeah, we have some experience from Swiss World Cargo and Lufthansa Cargo over the last year since we bought, um, as Lufthansa, bought our stake in Swiss. And we've seen there's some nice synergies to be uh, uh, driving on in handling, also on the sales and the commercial side. So if we have similar success with the new partners coming in, I'm sure we're providing an even more dense network to our customers. And we're playing our part in the overall consolidation game going on in the European aviation industry. Mm -hmm. And what kind of synergies, what areas are there where you might be able to get some benefits from through that? Oh, I think move under one roof at airports is always the first step. Yeah, mm -hmm. bringing your handling uh, activities together. Approaching the customer jointly with a new, again, more dense and sometimes wider network, thinking about the African rules of, as in Brussels, which yeah. are nicely complementing our African network and the African network of Swiss. These are things I think the customer takes advantage of. That's what we learned from Star Alliance. We need to deliver an upside for the customer. Mm -hmm. Then the, uh, con the, how should I say, the cooperation or the new alliance is, is um, accepted and is driving value for you as a player as well. And finally, obviously you're in the cargo industry at the moment, you've just had your contract renewed. If you could be out of cargo right now, would you be, personally? I'll be a, I'll be a journalist. You'd be a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Well, thank you very much for your time. You. Really thank appreciate you. it.